Happy Shanty Day number 425. I'm Sky. I'm Sagan. And we're siblings. And, and we, we sing sea shanties and sea shanty adjacent, adjacent music. music. And it's Saturday. It is Saturday. Yeah. Um, and we've been <laughs> in front of our computers yep. doing lots of editing and prepping yep, and preparing for all kinds the of things. Week. Yep. Aren't we uh, supposed to do that like Sunday? Saturdays for Sometimes relaxing. you need both days. Yeah, sometimes you do. Yep. Uh, but so today we have kind of a new one. It's a it's a yeah, lyric sort of. set we haven't uh, we haven't used before. Um, the melody is very recognizable as "Lowlands Away," uh, but this is a, a variation that's featured in Stan Hugel's book "Chanties from the Seven Seas." Shout out to Stan Hugel. Um, that is a it's a, a variation on it, and interestingly, there's some discussion over where the variation came from, whether it came from uh the west indies um or the gulf ports um or uh or by the the southern united states um but what is not in question is that um it is a it was born from african singers um and is essentially a an economic protest song Mm. um for for lack of a better term uh talking about the the disparity between uh what white dock workers and white sailors were paid and what black dock workers and black sailors were paid. Right. Yeah. So Um, really about pay equality mm -hmm. and, um, treatment and, and all those kinds of things that unfortunately still exist. It's still a problem. Still a thing. Um, but it's, it's a a really neat, um, sort of alternate set of lyrics. Mm -hmm. And that was not uncommon for, no, um, no, it wasn't, you know, for sea songs and shanties and things to get different sets of lyrics. Sometimes that were just mild variations of Mm -hmm. them. And sometimes they were completely completely rewritten, which is the case for this one. Yep. Um, so you're familiar with the, if you've sung with us before, um, you are familiar with the responses. Yes. Although the second response is slightly different. Yes. So the first response is still lowlands, lowlands away, my John. Uh, but the second response is different. The second response is my dollar and a half a day. And lyrics are down below. Lyrics know. are yeah. down below. Um, and it also starts off with a, a sort of an intro, almost like a like a calling in, of uh, all right. Here's here's what we're here's what we're doing now. Yeah, a everybody lot of them, get together. And yep, everybody gets yeah, together. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Uh, yeah. Well, and I should well, and I could do the the intro too because that one is actually supposed to be sung by everybody. Yeah. Um. So it goes like this. Lowlands, lowlands away, my John. Lowlands away, I heard them say, my dollar and a half a day. So you That's, can hear it's got the those two uh, <laughs> those two responses are incorporated into the call at the beginning there, yep. and then it starts into call response, call response, um, one line at a time that way. Yeah. Ready? You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. All right. Lowlands, lowlands away, my John. Lowlands away, I heard them say, my dollar and a half a day. A dollar and a half a day is a black man's pay. Lowlands, Lowlands away, my John. I thought I heard our old man say, My dollar and a half a day. A white man's pay is rather high. Lowlands, Lowlands away, my John. A black man's pay is rather low. My dollar and a half a day. Five dollars a day is a hooser's pay. Lowlands, lowlands away, my John. Five dollars a day is a hooser's pay. My dollar and a half a day. A dollar and a half a day is a Matlow's pay. 
Lowlands, lowlands away, my John. A dollar and a half a day won't pay my way. My dollar and a half a day. Oh, what shall we poor shellbacks do? Lowlands, lowlands away, my John. We've got no money and we can't get home. My dollar and a half a day. I packed my bag and I'm bound away. Lowlands, lowlands away, my John. I'm bound away for Mobile Bay. My dollar and a half a day. We're bound away for Mobile Bay. Lowlands, lowlands away, my John. We're bound away at break of day. My dollar and a half a day. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Always fascinating to see how people use songs that are mm -hmm. we we don't we actually we do see that now people take popular music yep. and and you know write usually parodies and things of it mm -hmm. although sometimes it serves a more um you know sort of social justice front that way mm -hmm. but it's often sort of um comedic in nature and right. so it's neat to see um and the you know the original shanty is is mm -hmm. beautiful and a beautiful story um but really neat to see that being taken um, and and used in a, a really powerful way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and it's and it's interesting because uh, I would think that, and this is another thing that that sort of carries over into modern times, um, that uh, the administrators or the captains who were probably all white um, probably didn't even pay attention to the mm -hmm. lyrics. They just they just heard the music. You're like, oh, it's Lil Lens Away again. Yeah, it's just right. it's just music. You see a, a similar uh, a similar thing with um, I don't know. Uh, I actually the, this is a really specific uh, really specific example, um, but Rage Against the Machine mm. um, is has been catching flack in more recent years because their music is quote unquote getting political. As if that's not what they've been saying about they, as if the that's whole not time. Been you, what they've been doing the people the who time. are the people yeah, who are yeah. listening to it just now realized what it right, is they're actually saying about it, and, actually... and they don't much like it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is. It is. It's fascinating to – I have these conversations with my to students them. too. Um, and it's not just young people that miss lyrics. It's, right. you know, it's uh, people of all ages. But when you're listening to music, sometimes people are listening just for the feel of it and mm -hmm. the, the lyric – not the lyric content, but the melodic content, the harmonic content – the drive of the the tempo of it the you know the my kids like to to say it's the i like the beat of this song you know uh, things like that 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 just connect to our brains mm -hmm. um musically without any of the lyrics involved um and so sometimes you you know you get really into a song and then you go back and look at the lyrics and you're like wait is that what this song is <laughs> this about? about what what <laughs> uh you know, and so it's always an interesting conversation then to have of, you know, about, um, yeah, does some of that fly under the radar intentionally? Yeah. Um, or, you know, was that the intent of the original uh, artist? Or yeah. um, is it just, you know, we're just wired as humans to respond in certain ways to musical features um, and separately from the lyrics that way. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, interesting point. Uh, so Hoosier and Matlau. So Hoosier is a term, um, a, a native or inhabitant of Indiana. Um, it, it derived from the um, actually uh, Native American word for corn, which is uh, Hoosa. Um, Indiana flatboatmen took, uh, taking corn or maize to New Orleans came to be known as, uh, as Hoosa men. Mm. Um, that's sort of where that sure. uh, sound came from. Whereas uh, Matlau... Um, actually comes from the where is it where is it where is it where is it uh, the it's a loan word from Middle French um, 
that is uh, well so it, it's sort of a a a morph of uh of the uh loan word from middle french the meaning sailor or seaman um uh, madelot sure. which i'm probably pronouncing wrong but i don't really like fr the french as a language so here we go um no offense french speaking some people. offense no. some offense no. um not for me no so i'm i'm not it may and that's one of those things where looking at the definitions that we have today five dollars a day is what someone from indiana is paid a dollar and a half a day is, is what a sailor makes. Doesn't have a whole lot of context for us right, now. Right, for us today. But, but back then probably made a lot more yeah, sense with yeah. however language had uh, evolved. How people refer to, that point. to themselves, to each other, mm -hmm. to, you know, all those kinds of things. Yep. But, yeah. Interesting. Fascinating. Yeah. Really interesting things. And, it's one uh, of the ones where we're talking more after we sing the song than in, in front of it. Sorry, you could have stopped a while ago. It's fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, and still, unfortunately, timely for things going on in the world. Um, get your shanty merch, uh, support the streams and the peeps. We've still got things below about, uh, how you can get informed and find out more about, um, uh, both uh, black musicians' uh, contributions to the sea shanty art form, like the song, and as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. um, as well as um, some information you can find out more about um, the Asian American and Pacific Islander community and ways you can help there. Um, lots of people out there that uh, need for those of us who have been um, given... Um, quite a bit of privilege to uh step up and uh and help and uh speak out so check those things out make a difference and uh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's all i got all right hey be safe we love you and uh we'll see you again tomorrow bye, bye.